Hello, friends. In this video, I'll show you how I actually predict a chart and how I find important trend changes. First you need to study the impulses. Those impulses that are equal to each other. They can be located in different places. I usually call it AB equals CD. I describe this in more detail in the video tutorials. Therefore, I will not write about it in detail. He has his own rules. I copy the previous movement and put it in another place to get an equilateral momentum. There was an upward movement of 45 points. This means that the price has completed its rise, and we should expect a change in direction. Remember that a trend always reverses when its equilibrium ends. The second example also shows how this law works. Now let's see what caused gold to change direction. There are many ways to prove this. I'll show you some examples from this tutorial video. For convenience, I use the Fibonacci method by changing the parameters. It is easy to use. We set the dots, and it will show us where the price should stop in the future. The graph clearly shows what happened in the recent past. The impulse was repeated a few days later. It wasn't just right-hand traffic, as was the case with price. This also happened over time. Next, to prove the point D, I take the maximum price, extract the root and subtract one to find the degree level of the price. This coincides with point D. Another way is the stochastic indicator. It also shows the minimum oversold price when the price was at point D. After determining the price, I try to determine the time in a simple way. The distances between the past and the base values are measured. This amounted to 127 trading days. I multiply by 1.414 to find the calendar day. It turns out that 180 days pass from base to base. You also remember how in the last calculation we got the price rotated 180 degrees. It also proves the equilibrium of price and time. We take another minimum, which is calculated for 102 trading days. Multiplying by 1,414, we get 144 calendar days. 144 is the square of 12. 144 is also an important number for determining time. Also calculate the time it takes to complete half of the journey. Long, uniform time cycles are determined using movement in the past. Based on the past, the movement determines future trend reversals. Simple ways to determine the price and time will help you in any market situation. Please like and subscribe to the channel so that you can watch new tutorial videos in the future. I wish you all a good day.